Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10. Second build released this week, build 18.343 released, uh, 3.342 was released Wednesday late in the day. Uh, no new features in here, it actually is a build that fixes one of the problems that was on 3.42. Uh, some of you couldn't have this build because it was um, impossible for certain uh, Intel CPUs to actually have it. They fixed the bug and they released 18.343 to um, actually have a perfect build for the weekend. Now this is the candidate for slowing also, so let's cross our fingers because once again slowing is kind of a good joke with absolutely no builds right now. It's kind of weird that they have not even released one, at least one build of 19H1. And some of you are really waiting for this. So, um, of course, like I said, since there's really nothing new on these, I am going to, of course, highlight one of the features of the 19H1 and then the April 2019 update at every uh, build that we get until we have the official release where I'll have full review of what's in here. Uh, the install went well, had no problems. The computer itself is running smoothly, have no issues, no blue screens, green screens, nothing. Everything seems to be working perfectly in here. What feature we're going to talk about today is the new light theme that they're adding in Windows 10 April 2019 update. Now you might say, yeah, but uh, there's already a white theme. I mean, when you have a default Windows, the theme is already white. Yeah, but it's actually kind of whiter. <laughs> it's whiter than white, than the light theme gives you. Light theme is actually a little uh, different. So what do you do? Well, when you go into this, um, your um, Windows settings, go to personalization, and go to colors, you will see that there is two things that appear in here in the colors. Uh, it's choose your color dark or light. And here you will have the possibility to check that out. Do you want a dark or a light theme? So you just click light if you wish to have a light theme and that will be the theme for um, Windows. Now there's so it takes a little bit of time for it to uh, actually have it everywhere. So here you go. And here you have light theme that's now enabled in your PC. And uh, of course, it's wider. So it is a little different. The uh, taskbar gets kind of a grayish, whitish look to it. And um, so it's one of those new features uh, that is coming to 19H1. Some of you might actually find it nice. And uh, I kind of find it, you know, uh, okay. I mean, it's kind of not bad, actually. I've been using that light theme a lot uh, in recent weeks because I kind of find it nice. It's not as aggressive as the white that comes with Windows 10 in general, but uh, at least, you know, you'll have a theme available for uh, what is uh, uh, light and uh, dark in uh, Windows 10 uh, April 2019 update. So, you know, some of you like it, some of you don't. Some of you wish that there would be, um, you know, a more, um, you know, other options and, and different options to change the different teams and effects. But, uh, you know, and um, so, but, you know, at least it, it's, it's there and, uh, it's not super consistent, like we said, you know, there are apps that still don't follow the dark theme stuff. Uh, some apps do. And remember, there's also a custom mode. Uh, when you go to light and dark, you can actually use the default mode for Windows and a default mode for apps, which is kind of nice, meaning you could have your apps in dark mode, but still have your Windows in light mode. So you would choose a light mode for Windows, for example, that would bring light mode to uh, some of the aspects of the Windows operating system, but your apps would still be dark, uh, which could be a nice mix if you wish to have both. Um, and of course, the settings, you might say, well, the settings stay dark. Yeah, because the settings are an app. 
Or you could be the other way around. You can say, I want to have Windows in dark mode, but I want to have the apps in light mode uh, if you wish to do so. And um, basically, if we give it like this, then you see that my taskbar at the bottom, for example, stays dark. But the Windows, the setting app, for example, is now light. And all the apps that follow the rules will be light. So you can choose a mix of all of that if you want. Or just choose, you know, I want to have dark mode everywhere or light mode everywhere. That's uh, one of the new features coming to the April 2019 update. If you enjoy our videos, well, first of all, uh, let me say that um, if you've been updated to this uh, version, let us know what you think. And of course, like I said, everything is going well, so no problems here. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.